Hi, I'm going to do a little bit of home movie making here. We'll see how it works. I'm going to try and shoot some slides against the screen, try and videotape the slides. And while I do that, I'll try and talk about them a little bit to give you guys an idea of what they are. These are slides that were, that I had, we've had in the basement for a long time. They were taken by Walter Banniger, Barbara's father. Uh, most of them on trips that they took, and but I sorted out ones with uh, the people in them, and some of the ones of uh, Nick and Andy and Cher when they were kids, and even some of Tim. Uh, Bar's dad died in 1974, and his mother in 1977, so their slides would end uh, probably in 72 or 73 that we have, maybe 74. Uh, the earliest ones are some of Barbara back in Pittsburgh that had to be taken when she was uh, five or six, which would be in the mid-40s. Uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, see how it works out. Okay, let's give this a try. This is a real early picture. I hope it comes in fairly clear, but on the left is Barbara and her mother. And the baby is Paula. There's Barbara with a bunch of her friends. This was uh, taken in Pittsburgh. She's the one in the red coat. And there's another shot of her. Barbara again. Looks like she's not real happy about having her picture taken today. Another shot of her. Looks like she's all dressed up, ready to go. Looks a lot like Molly, I think. Barbara and her friends again. Still in the red coat. This is a picture of Barbara and her dad, Walter. This picture is not very clear, but hopefully it'll. Uh, I thought I'd put it in there anyhow. And this is Barb and her mother. Uh, thought it was a good shot, and we should have it in there as well. There she is. Pretty does look like Molly, I think. This one was taken in the approximately 1957, 56 or 7, based on the car they had there. And that's Walter, Barb's dad on the left, Barb's grandmother, her mother's mother, and next, and Paula and Barb in the yellow dress. And this shows Barb as the homecoming queen, the fall of 1957, with the rest of her court riding in the car. Another shot similar to an earlier one, only this time we have uh, Barb's mother in there instead of her dad. This also is a shot of Barb and her mother. Everyone thinks this looks a lot like Sherry. I think so too. This one was taken out of the Pacific Ocean in the state of Washington where they, out, they went out to visit Barb's grandmother. This is Barb's grandmother and her mother. That uh, 57 Mercury was kind of a classic. It had the straight up and down electric rear window. Barb's dad, Walter, and his mother, Marie, from Washington. That's her house in the background. Picture of her in the car. This one is Barbara on the left, 
her grandmother, Walt's mother, Paula, and Barb's mother, Norma. Barb and Paula running in the ocean. This one switches to Pittsburgh, which is where uh, Barb's other grandma, Norma, lives. I think that's Andy and I loading up the station wagon. There's Andy with, looks like he got paid for something. This is Barb's grandmother's house in the background where her and, and her Aunt Grace live. There'll be some other pictures of this as we go, I think. This picture is four generations. Show Sherry down on the right. Barbara. Her mother Norma and Barb's grandmother. Her name was Norma Brunigal. There's the four of them again. Picture of Barb and I in the driveway in Pittsburgh. Some of these pictures had a little trouble focusing in, but Barb and her mother and her, and her grandmother. Picture of Nick when he was little. And Andy. This is back in Ankeny. This was uh, Barb's mother and I on the bicycle bill for two. Whoops, we're not switching pictures here. Let's see what we can do to make it work better. Skip one, but or two. There we go. This is the second picture of us building on the bicycle built for two. Apologize for the delay here. And there's Nick in the foreground. You know how well you can see him, but there's Paula and Barb and I. Bill Ficken, who was Paula's first husband, and Norma on the right. Shot of Tim. Not quite sure where that was taken. Well, it looked like that garage in the back. It would have been the first house we lived in in Pocahontas on 5th Street. There's Nick and Andy, Bill Peckin in the background. like we had a croquet match in Grandpa's backyard, Grandpa Vanager's backyard in Ankeny. Barb and Paula. Another shot of that twosome. And that's it for that reel. We'll start it up in a minute and try to... Okay, we'll start again now. This, this is uh, quite a few of these in this next series are of a trip Barb's folks took to Hawaii, probably in 1965, I think. This is Barb's grandmother. Not sure who the one above is. This is Barb's mother, Norma, on the right. Her grandmother, her Aunt Grace. Barb's grandmother again. Aunt Grace. There's Walter and Norma and her mother and Grace again. 
Waller and Norma on the left. I'm not sure who the lady is in the middle. Norma's mother and Aunt Grace on the right. Norma with the Hawaiian host. Walter. Then Walter again. Barb's dad looks like he's been having a good time. Some pretty good pictures of him. And this is after they got back from Hawaii. They bought back Hawaiian outfits for you guys. It's the share. That's the fearsome foursome uh, with Dave on the left and Andy and Nick up and back, Sherry in the middle. Another shot of Cher. Is that foursome again? Almost got Nick's head off the picture here. Used to be quite a crew. There's Cher. This was probably taken a little earlier than those last pictures. Getting ready to travel. Barbara on the left and Norman, Cher and I apparently. This is Paula and Dave. Not sure whose back end we're seeing. Cher over there in the red pants. Barbara's mother. And Cher on my lap on the left and then Nick in the middle this picture was taken in Pittsburgh it must have been we weren't out there but the on the left is Paula husband Bill Ficken and Dave her son I'm not sure who the next lady is in the blue then that's Jeff in the checkered jacket that'd be Aunt Grace's son and that's Jeff's wife in the gray suit in the white headband and Paul on the right with the red and white uh, Hawaiian outfit Aunt Grace you can almost make out behind one of uh, Jeff and Patty's children there this is taken in Ankeny again Nick and Andy and Cher out playing in the front yard this is in the Ankeny in the backyard Barb in the foreground, I'm on the left, Paul in the middle by the door. Looks like Dave Ficken there. There's Cher. This is taken out in Pittsburgh. Probably should have been with the other pictures that we had of Nick and Andy when Nick had his Batman shirt on. That's Barb's mother and her grandmother and the, the porch in Pittsburgh. This is her grandmother again. And that's the lake that was out behind their Pittsburgh house. Norma and her mother. Walter, I don't know where this was taken. It could be from one of their trips. And Norma. There's Barb. And Nick. This will be taken in Pocahontas right after we built this house. We moved into it in February of uh, 72 so I'm guessing that this picture was taken that summer there's Nick on the motor moped and uh, 
and Andy, and our sheepdog there in the middle, just been shaving. This is one of the Christmases at Grandpa Banniger's. Paul on the right, Dave and Cher, Andy, Barbara behind Andy, Mrs. Chuck on the left, Paula's husband Chuck Abbott. There's a better shot of Chuck and Barb's mother. Barb and Paul and Cher. That's all for that reel. We got one more. We'll stick in in a second. Okay, this is the third and final group of pictures. This is Andy running our movie camera. I think this was taken at Okaboji. They either had a condo there across the an Edgewater, uh, across the Brooks Golf Course. There, Nick, that ought to look familiar. That was the car that you eventually got to drive. Thought I should put that picture in there. There you can see the Brooks Golf Course across the road from their motel. Or condominium. This looks like it belonged with one of the pictures before. I tried to put these in order, but didn't get them real good. This is Barb and Paula again at Christmas at Barb's Folks. Doesn't quite focus. And this is this has got to be Tim. Probably some of the last slides Walter took. There's a couple of him. He's even quiet when he's a baby. Now these pictures, I don't know most of who they are. There's Walter and Norma on the right in this picture. A lot of these were taken on their European trips. They'd take a, they had taken two or three uh, trips over to Europe. So uh, the pictures that had them in them I kind of saved and I'll run through these. If I know anything about them, I'll point it out. Walter and Norma. Walter's uh, company he worked for, Townsend Engineering, used to take trips up to Canada fishing. They used to take the whole crew that worked there. This apparently was on one of his trips up there. I don't know where this one was. I am sure it wasn't Canada because she didn't go fishing with him. That looks like Walter in the same area the Norma's picture was just taken in. Gotcha Gimli Trail. I'm not sure where that would be either. Barb's mother in the middle. I don't know who the other two people are. Her folks. Not a real good picture, but... Barb's mother, and I'm not sure who the other one is either there. Looks like it could be in Switzerland or somewhere. That's kind of a double exposure, so it's not your video camera. They took a cruise on the Rhine once. I think maybe that's what this would be. The Rhine River in Germany. They have two or three airline, little airline bags of slides. I took out the ones that had pictures of them in them. This would be Aunt Grace and, and Norma. Uh, not sure where that would be located. I don't recognize any of it. Must have been on one of their trips again.
Norma in the middle waving at you. Barb's mother and Aunt Grace. And I don't know who the lady in the blue-green outfit is. And there's Walter. Norma, Barb's mother. That's Aunt Grace and Walter somewhere, I assume in Europe. Aunt Grace, Barb's mother. This is the in the house in Pittsburgh with Aunt Grace and Norma again. Still the house in Pittsburgh. Looks like that's the end of it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the slides. I don't know if you see me or not. I can see my shadow pretty good. I'll try and make a video for each of you this. Hope you enjoy it. This has been making the video in December of 1997. Bye bye.